So hello everyone, I'm today doing a tier list of um, websites. And yeah, I haven't gone on this, so. Or day, but the rest I've gone on very frequently. So I guess let's start. Apple, B. The re main reason is that the Apple is basically an Apple, basically the Apple Store website. It's like, it's not really a website website. It's not that versatile. It's not like Google where you can search for stuff. It just talks about Apple's products, but the UI is super clean. Um, I guess when you're talking about Apple, you can also talk about like the sub apps, like I guess the Apple account information, like Apple Music, I don't know. I don't know, but like, obviously when you compare it to like other websites, it doesn't do as much. So that's why I have to, it's limited to B, but I really like the UI and all that. Amazon, A, uh, I guess the only big draw for me is that there could be fake reviews and like market is saturated with a bunch of random stuff. So not the perfect website, especially if you're like not a Prime member and then you try to like buy something. There's like a lot of like self ads for becoming like a Prime member, which Makes checking out a bit less convenient, but I think that's their intention, but just not a big fan of it. But overall, it's a very good website, you buy a lot of things. Um, YouTube is an S tier, like really good UI, a really good website, I guess, for like videos and using them my whole life. Um, yeah, it's fun to use, good UI. I guess there could be problems like, like ads, but a lot of ad blockers block away the YouTube ads, so that's nice. Yeah, um, Bing, I gave it a D because there's no reason to use it when you use Google, which is, I put it S because you do pretty much almost everything with Google, like the whole Google suite of applications, it's super nice. eBay, I put in F. It's like, kind of like Amazon, except I'm not, I don't, there's like a bunch of like import fees if you're like in different countries and all that, but just confusing. Not a big fan of eBay. Never used it. And it's okay, I guess, depending on the situation. But for me, it's in the F tier. Microsoft, I put in the B tier. It's like, yeah, I have a few Hotmail accounts or Outlook accounts for school and stuff. The user interface is pretty solid, but I guess it's just like Apple. It's like it's limited by like, it can't do that much stuff. It's just mostly kind of like, I guess there's a Microsoft website for stores. There's a website for, I guess, mail. Yeah, I, I don't know. That's pretty much it. Um, Twitter, I put in the B tier as well, mostly because despite it's like really good UI, it's I use it a lot. It's, it's just social media site, which I can't find myself putting in the A tier. So yeah, I guess this is the this is the website tier list. Um, thanks for watching. See you next time.